it going everybody? Ryder Roth here. I know I'm a little late to the party, but there is a Resident Evil showcase today. I'm guessing it's, I'm hoping it's mostly focused on Resident Evil 4 Remake. It looks like it is about 20 minutes, maybe a little over. Uh, so I'm going to do a reaction video to it. I apologize for the lack of lighting. It's nighttime and the bulb I use for extra lighting is blown out apparently. <laughs> but uh, let's chuck it out right about now. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be. You're gonna see more on eight, but four, it looks like. Oh my! Company? How on earth did you get in here? Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. Mm -hmm. I am but a humble merchant, purveyor of goods to lords and ladies, prophets, and priests. I can't tell if this is part I of the game so or not. strive to please my patrons. Well, this I is just made for the stream. Well acquainted. But of course it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. I deal in all manner of commerce, but today, I trade in knowledge. This place is a veritable hoard of information, gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. But you look like you're well aware of the value of such things. Well, since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. There's Chris. Take a gander. World premiere. Happy half birthday, Rose. This is gonna I just want to find my daughter. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Third person is great. You are my precious rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. Hmm. Oh, shit. Sometimes I feel lost or afraid. I try to imagine what he might have said to me. You know, I just realized that version of Duke is wearing a mask like uh, Mother Miranda wears. But how will that anything happen to Rose? I've got this. It's a little over a week. Same day Banana 3 comes out. I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director of the Winter's Expansion. I mean, it's like this cool, but I don't want too much of a spoil for me. It's already spoiling Resident Evil 8 for me, because I didn't do this. And in the end, you see how she's grown. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. You said you had something important to tell me? 
She's trying to get rid of her unwanted oh, powers. But to do that, she is forced to return to the origin yeah. of her misfortune. I guess I'm sure Resident Evil is probably not as a potential for an interesting story. Should be with superpowers and stuff like that. Of consciousness. Marvel or DC or something. One more time to that village. The word nightmare is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll, or something else similarly so completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. There are characters called lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. Being able to play them was more fun. That so makes sense to me. Those characters. We balance things to ensure that as little time as possible was spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. In an FPS, you experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first person perspective. They might not enjoy the FPS genre. So we wanted to make a third person mode for those players. To enjoy the game to That's very considerate, but that's the, that's the only reason like people one of this well, moves just because it's Resident Evil, damn it. Third person perspective. When the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it And maybe they just don't want to admit it as a fan request the thing. Experience. I think third person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? He gave that question some thought. So even in third person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, <laughs> Ethan will look away, and you're not quite able to get a good look. I wonder why they care so much about hiding his face. Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way, and we hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Thank you. Okay. Now we have an amazing announcement for you. Starting today, a demo for the third person cool. mode will okay. be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode or the previously existing first person mode. I might try that out for a little bit. Okay, now uh... Mission adjustment? No. Doesn't change anything. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. The hell is this? Let's have some fun. People. Oh, it's Ari Verse, isn't Move it? Out. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. The hell? Yeah, it'd be great. Can be RE6 Leon with dual wheeling in that. Why does that get? Why does that Resident get all this Evil cool RE stuff? Verse is free content oh. for those who own Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. This game has crossplay, and you can fight players across all platforms. Those who already own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Hey, maybe that means he'll have the Resident Evil 6 outfit for Resident in uh, Resident Evil 4 remake at least. It has been officially released. 
Here are some details for the early access and updates. Okay, great. Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Sandmo, and I'm part <sighs> of the GP software team at Apple. During That's the cool. keynote at our Worldwide Developers Conference, Capcom announced Resident sure. Evil Village will be coming to the Mac later this year and will take full advantage of the power and performance of Apple Silicon. We couldn't be more excited that the game will be available to Mac users. That's cool. The Mac is getting more uh, game support, game. but. Resident Evil Village is the first project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac and runs natively on Apple Silicon. And since the game is optimized to take advantage of metal-free features like metal effects upscaling, gameplay is incredibly responsive, with high frame rates and beautiful visuals. This means that every Mac, from MacBook Air to Mac Studio, will be able to play Resident Evil Village with ease. Stay tuned for more information soon. Hello everyone, I am Midoro from Ubitus. And I am Yonatani from Ubitus. It is a great honor to be taking part in this global project of the Resident Evil franchise on cloud with Capcom. <sighs> with the launch of the cloud version, not only fans from Japan, but from all over the world can play the game on the I might have to cut some of this off. without thinking about the download time. The application size is small, but the users can experience smooth gameplay of up to 60 FPS while playing it in multiple modes that Nintendo Switch offers, such as TV mode, yeah, tabletop mode, so I think and handheld mode. Ridiculous. It is I mean, it's better than I'm sure it's better than nothing. The game but it's just like without thinking I don't about storage see, space just... or the download time. You can also check your network environment by playing the demo before you pre-order or purchase the game. The game can be pre-ordered or purchased after you play the demo. This is to make sure that those who are playing a cloud game for the first time or may have concerns, can test it and enjoy the game. With 5G mobile network technology being so widespread recently, the barrier between installing the game and left? playing it on cloud is getting smaller and smaller. All right. Well, we, we got we got one more. Than, we got more than ten minutes. I think. Cloud gaming, as well as its future, through the release of Resident Evil Village Cloud. Okay, great. Resident Evil Village Cloud will it's be great. available on October 28th. And the Witcher's great. expansion DLC awesome. will follow on December 2nd. That. Furthermore, I'm so the excited. RE2 Cloud will launch on November 11th, followed by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th. And RE7 Cloud will be available on December 16th. <laughs> How delightful. Such delectable information ought to be savored. <laughs> What's that? You a little bit more, yeah. <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. No, it's quite all right. I do like this presentation I love format. To see a healthy appetite. I'll do my best to sate your hunger. Come, have a look at there this. There we go. That's definitely for. There we go. Ah, of course he loses the jacket again, that's the expected. Hello everyone. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay go. footage. What we've been waiting for. Had lighting though. How far could it have gone? I just want to see him shoot somebody in this gameplay, that's all. See how that works. Anyone home? Oh no, no, there we go, okay. Off the 
brightness on my computer. This is a little different. Hey. Oh, you actually find one of the police guy the guards. Security guys. This is definitely different. Holy shit. Oh, and Beth's probably hearing the other one die. Man, no laser sight. Unless it's, uh, you know, adjustable. Health bar looks good, though. That's pretty... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's different. That's definitely different. Says Ashley. Bruce, this is Condor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Oh, we actually see Hunnigan Our intel was outside of just a well, picture yeah. now. <laughs> Something's happened to people here. My escorts are. Is that? Ah, oh, yes! You can still do the the um quick time and quick time event attacks. I don't know what you want to call those. It was one thing I didn't think they'd bring back. Pretty faithful for the most part. Oh boy, oh boy, oh god. Ooh. Oh, it looks like they changed the weapon system a little bit. Or oh, at least the Irish says they have a quick select weapon, so there's not just four, there's a lot. Now that's pretty similar. Treat? that other guy I guess the other one. oh that's different oh shit oh god look at his eyes oh shit that's awesome oh oh get the hell out of here what did you think? Okay, that's that was awesome. As you just saw, that was awesome. Paying respect to the original game's world, while implementing new ideas and state-of-the-art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. We think this game will. And I mean, I don't know if that really makes sense. Being able to sense of familiarity pull a chainsaw the pistol, but hey, I'm not Connors complaining. That was awesome. To Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. The Ganados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. 
Leon fights back with firearms, close combat maneuvers, a newly added That's cool. Using so there's like a counter. And more. That's so sick. Oh wait, it's, he's using a knife, not the pistol. Okay, that's still really cool though, regardless. Elements are critical for survival. That makes more sense, but still really cool. Okay, good. We still got the same inventory system. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Okay. I mean, it was easy enough getting ammunition, but uh oh. Of course, we can't boy. forget the merchant. He sounds you can similar. I know it's not the same voice actor. And customize them oh shit, they got like... Style. Dude, oh, we can... Wow, they're really making the knife more useful. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas Good. and modernizing the play field. That's good. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's release. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4, in addition to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, and PC. Okay. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. Makes sense. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. Oh. The first is the deluxe edition, which will be available for all platforms. This includes additional content such as costumes, hell? special weapons, a treasure map, and more. Looks like a V costume. Next is the physical oh, damn it, I have to get that. Oh, man, why'd you guys have this to do that? Includes the I'm gonna have to get that. Of the deluxe edition, oh. as well as a Leon figure, I don't have to try to get damn it. Art book, Fuck you, Capcom. <laughs> and more. I'm kidding. Also, that, that's cool. I'm just like, damn today. it. If you pre-order the standard edition, you'll receive the attaché case gold and special charm handgun ammo. If you pre-order the Deluxe Edition or Collector's Edition, you'll receive the Standard Edition pre-order bonuses, as well as Attaché Case Classic and Special Charm Queen Herb. I used to call it Attaché. <laughs> if you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini soundtrack. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Thank you for watching so far. We are working hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. So please, look forward to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. Hmm. Hmm. Resident Evil 9? Oh no. I think it's with 4. Oh no. Okay, now this is four. That's just not the trail. Okay, I'm fine with that. You're here looking for someone. Is that Lewis? Some missing senorita. <laughs> Ashley, where are you? I guess that's yeah, he's all right. Looks kind of older. Your soul requires oh, cleansing. Face. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. I do like Ashley's design more. What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go. I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada, who are you? And what are you doing here? My faith is a cycle show. I don't know if I love Lewis's name design. Hey, it's not run. dead. I just think I'm like first old one more. The entire world shall overflow with these grains. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. 
She's lost no matter what. Now that he's Did he not have the same voice actors? It's been a while, but she sounds different. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's no. I don't remember that. Alright. Alright. I like Did it. Did you enjoy the Resident Evil showcase? A little worried we didn't see Krauser, but then again, he's Resident introduced very late Village in the game. Gold Edition launches on so Friday, Friday, October 28th. And maybe they didn't show him, I just Resident didn't Evil catch Village, it. You could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. The Powered Up, the Mercenaries Additional Orders, and the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Oh, yes. A demo for the third person mode will be available oh, today. Oh, yes. Don't forget. The early access period for Resident Evil R Reverse begins October 20th. I might try out Reverse. The village. Like Resident Evil Village Cloud, playable on Nintendo Switch via a cloud service, will be available starting October 28th. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via cloud at a later date. Also, the Mac version of Resident Evil Village will be released on October 28th. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023. And you can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, you just got it. Well, well. Looks like you've had your fill. With such a grand yeah, display, yeah. I should hope so. I won't complain. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. An arch. <laughs> but his information is good. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. Hmm. Don't walk in that light. That was that was pretty good. I mean, mainly the Resident Evil Four part, but that was pretty good. I just have to go back. What what's the deal with those costumes? I, I didn't couldn't tell who they were all were. Casual Leon. Okay, they're just not showing. If they have those outfits and not Resident Evil 6 Leon, that's gonna be some bullshit. <laughs> um, casual romantic. Unless that's supposed to be the RE6 outfit? No, not me. And they're for Ash. Oh, and filter? Yeah, the villain one. Looks like V. It seriously looks like V from Devil May Cry 5. Um, I mean, I... And then the Sentinel-9. That's like the Tango and Extra Stock Skull Shaker. I don't know what that is. I mean, it's a shotgun, but... Okay. <laughs> Sunglasses. I hope that I hope that's not saying that, like, oh, Wesker's not in the game, so we're just giving you... Or Wesker's not going to be playable Mercenary, so we're just giving you sunglasses, but it's still cool. Oh, an original version of the soundtrack. That's cool. Okay. Kind of like what 2 and... I forget if 3 did that or not. But alright, cool. Um, yeah. Um, Resident Evil 8 stuff's cool. Um, again, it does seem like a bummer that they're not going to have a third-person mode for the new Mercenaries characters, but it is what it is. I'll, I'll live. Um, the Resident Evil 4 remake gameplay, though, was... <sighs> Chef's kiss. That, that, was, that was awesome. It was better than I expected. I do hope, it's a small nitpick, I do hope you can give him the laser sight as opposed to the um, targeting reticle, I forget what you call those, the cursor or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, it looks awesome, I can't wait. Um, I'm going to try to pre-order the collector's edition tomorrow if I can, if it's not sold out by now. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for checking this video out. I'd like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, let me know what you thought about all this in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But as I always say, another time, another place. Keep being awesome. Bye-bye.